breaking news tonight, dire warning. The governor of New York tells the rest of the country, this is your future. 50% of cases are in New York State, and it's growing. And in an extraordinary plea today, the governor demanded to know where are the masks, where are the ventilators? You pick the 26,000 people who are going to die because you only sent 400 ventilators. The economic crisis. The president today said he's ready to send Americans back to work in 19 days. I'd love to have it open by Easter. But do public health experts think that's a good idea? The stock market soars. Big gains on Wall Street today as Congress completes the biggest stimulus bill in history, $2 trillion. What's in it, including how it impacts your family and health care workers? Olympics postponed. The summer games in Tokyo are pushed back to 2021. What does it mean for America's athletes? Pregnancy and the coronavirus. What expecting parents need to know to keep mother and baby safe. And our interview with country superstar Garth Brooks, giving online concerts in the age of coronavirus and why he says the lesson in life is that adversity makes us stronger. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with breaking news because President Trump says he is ready for Americans to get back to work by Easter Sunday. Even though the World Health Organization now says the U.S. could soon be the global epicenter.